Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit different. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of the band collection that I have and I guess how I store them. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but I just thought I'd show you what I have. I didn't have a good filming location to like fit this stuff on, so we are on my pool table. So ignore the background. Okay, so my first um, three big cases that I have here. I've had for so many years. They are crusty and old, um, but they are my three main band holders, I guess you can say. I have my favorite one here, which holds all of my limited edition bands, which are from rainbowloom.com. And these are like the round bands that I use on my channel. So yeah, I love these so much. And actually lately what I've been doing is when I'm done making a tutorial, I will take that bracelet apart, save the band because I don't want to run out of them. And I'm trying not to keep buying bands when I don't have to. So yeah, that's my limited edition case. This one here has, it's got a combination of... Oh, sorry, it's kind of hard to do this, you guys. This is a combination of my silicone band, which is in the top row here. Um, I don't know if these are the Egyptian bands or not, but they're all the 300-pack bands from RainbowLoom.com. They are not very stretchy. They're more of like the sticky um, textured bands. These are the Sweets Collection. I love all of these. They're really good for hook onlys too. So that's my second, I guess, favorite. And then this is my opaque band. This was my very first setup that I've ever done. And it's been this way ever since. I just, you know, fill in spots as it gets empty. But this has all of my regular opaque bands. And then I do have a couple different like uh, zebra bands and medieval 600 pack bands in there. I just received these ones here um, from women, winning, winning, <laughs> winning Loom Star of the Week. So I filled those in there. Here is one of the kits that I use a lot. I have one of my looms in it. I actually take this when I pick my son up from school and I kind of play around on the loom while I'm waiting for him. Um, but I actually filled this in it. I think I told you guys this was a kit and I apologize. The bands all came in a separate thing and then I filled them in and I'll show you what I bought it in in a minute um, but these were the pastels these were the old pastels up here it came in a treasure box these are the new pastels and they and the reason I'm saying new and old is they are different now this is the old one these are the new I don't know if you can actually tell just by looking the old ones have more of a like snap to it it's more like elastic and kind of like plasticky, whereas the new ones are soft. They still have a good stretch, but it's more like squishy. It's the best that I can describe it. I love them both though, so no complaints here. The center row is the glow in the dark um, treasure box. So this is definitely one of my favorites. This one here is an actual kit. And I don't know the name of any of the kits because I did not keep the paper. I do apologize. Um, but here is one of those. I do like the variety of colors. I don't really use any of the beads and stuff. So they're still in there. It comes with these little things. Um, sometimes it comes with like the blue or the purple looms. I just bag them up. I have a whole bag of them in the back of my basement. Um, I stick to the original rainbow loom like these um, but a lot of these do come with that so this is another kit that i customized myself i bought the neon treasure box the sparkle treasure box um, from i believe it was michael's craft store i either got these from hobby lobby joanne's fabric or michael's craft store um, and then i just customized it this last one here i believe was one of those smaller kits the anniversary edition if I'm not mistaken, um, and I just customized it with with those. These are some of my favorite bands as well. 
Um, this kit here, I love the bands that are in it. But unfortunately, I don't really use it. And the reason is because they break so easily. Um, a lot of my designs are very tight. I can't take the chance of being halfway done it and have a band break. Which, that's the risk you take when looming. But this, every time I use these, something breaks. And that makes me upset, so I don't use them. So I think I'm just going to start using these. They're very, very stretchy. Um, I think I'm going to start using these for hook onlys because they are so pretty. But they just don't work for me for the loom. Do any of you guys have that problem with these dual layered stretchy kit band? Let me know. So that's those. I have this little teeny tiny kit here. I feel like I'm kind of all over the place. I don't know how to do storage videos. I can do a tutorial. I cannot do storage. <laughs> uh -uh. Okay, so this is one of the little pastel kits. Love this little guy here. I've seen these for so long and never got the little ones. I always get one with the loom in it. Love it. So I'm going to get more of those. And then these are just two that I threw random bands in. Uh, I think I have some like old tie-dye and jellies and things like that. And same with this one. Just some random bands thrown in there so as far as storage goes as far as like the loose bands or package of bands i have this big white basket over here and i have a bunch of ziplocs and i have them all organized uh pretty much by case so like all of my limited editions are in here so when i go to fill my limited edition case all i need to do is grab this bag and i can easily refill it and then when I go to my second case, which has all of my sweets, my pearl bands, all of my sticky bands, they are in here. So I keep those two separate like that. When I get to my opaques, though, because I have so many, I color code those. But yeah, so I have all my pinks and red opaques there. My blue opaques. My tan and like burgundy, orange, my greens, purple, and I think white and gray is in this one. And then I do have just a bunch of, like, extra shoved in this bag here. And then lastly, I have these refills of my treasure box. And a C-clip. Um, but yeah, here is the Rainbow Loom Sparkle Treasure Box. Then I have the Neon Treasure Box. And my Pastel Treasure Box. So when my kits run low, I just grab whatever box I need and I refill it. So these I just stack under my desk, nice, nice and neat. My basket goes up on the shelf and then I slide all of my kits under my desk into this little thing that I have under there. And last but not least, I have my container here filled with my rainbow looms. Like I said, I only usually use the regular rainbow looms. I do have a whole bag tied in the back filled with like the blue and um, purple ones, which they're fine too. If you have them, go for it. But I have so many of these, I just use these ones. So I think I have like 14 or 15 looms. I'm not sure. They're like all over my basement, but this is what I have in this container right here. I have two monster tails right there. So... Just a bunch of pieces. These are my long blue bases to make my loom longer. But it's a lot of looms. And what is the first bracelet that made you guys go buy more than one loom? I'll tell you what mine was. It was the snake belly bracelet. I was like, oh my god, I have to go get more looms right now. I gotta make that. And then it was over from there. Loom after loom. <laughs> so that's it guys. I just wanted to show you my 
collection of bands. So I hope you guys like this video. I will have a tutorial coming out very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, thank you for watching this and I will see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.